everyone and welcome back to the game room. For those of you who are new, I'm Pixel Paul. If you like this video, if you consider subscribing, that would be amazing. And for everybody who's returning, thanks for coming back. Thank you for pressing play once again. So uh, another Gaming Grabs video for you this week. Um, sort of following on from last week's video, you might remember that I was intended to sell a whole stack of games uh, to CEX and get a voucher for them, um, which I did. Um, I did that first. I went to CEX. I've had a couple of days off this week, mainly to do Christmas shopping, which we, which I did fit in as well, um, successfully. Um, but yeah, the, the main sort of aim was to do the Christmas shopping, but I was going to do a little bit of game hunting as well. Um, but yeah, first part of call was to go to CEX and sell all those games, which I did mostly. So from the stack that I showed you last week, I did in the end decide to keep Hill Black Hill. Um, I asked all you guys for your comments, and it was a bit split. Some people said I should sell, some people said keep it. Um, and in the end, I thought, I'm going to keep it. I don't see it around that often, probably won't ever pick it up again. And I did quite enjoy it, so I have kept Kill La Kill. So that's the update on that one. Uh, so in the end, um, that whole stack of games was worth, without Kill La Kill, was um, £83.60. I ended up getting £82 because... I'm still scratching my head on this one, but for the sake of £1.60, I wasn't going to argue the case. Uh, they wouldn't take Ember because they said there was a deep scratch on it. And I am struggling a bit. There is a minor mark on it, but a deep scratch, I'm not convinced. But like I said, £1.60, I'm not going to argue the case. So I have still got Ember. That will probably go on the next pile that I build up. See if I can sell it then. Um, but yeah, I wasn't too bothered. £82 for that lot. I was chuffed to get that. Um, like I said in last week's video, you know, £82, £83, I can make that go quite far. So um, I have dipped into it already. Um, so I'll show you those two first before I go into the, the other gaming grabs from the week. So I did pick up uh, Final Fantasy Fables. Go this side. Final Fantasy Fables, Chocobo Dungeons for £8. So I've not seen this around that often. Um, I think I, I was aware of it, never played it, um, but I, I saw it in there. Eight pounds, really good condition, really nice and clean, great disc. Um, I've got some of the other Final Fantasy games on uh, the Nintendo Wii, so I saw it and thought, let's pick that up, use, use some of the voucher and grab that. So yeah, Final Fantasy Fables, Chocobo Dungeons. And then the next one, Again, using the voucher, and this was from the CEX in Bolton. Um, they've had it in their glass cabinet of dreams, as Dan the Gamesman calls it. Uh, they've had it in there for a while, and um, you don't see it too often on the PlayStation 2, which ideally I would have I would have liked to pick that version up perhaps, but I know that version of this goes for about £20. And um, So they've had this version in there for a while on the shelf, and it is Dark Watch on the original Xbox. Um, I think this is a cracking game. Really good first-person shooter, sort of steampunk uh, Western first-person shooter game. Very underrated. Not a lot of people have played it, but it is really good. Um, they were selling it, and it has been on the shelf for £15. And it's been there for months. Um, they had it for £15, so I thought, I'm going to grab that. I'm going to go for it. actually needs a new box. I'm going to swap the box out, but everything else is fine. The disc is great. Um, but um, luckily for me, they'd actually reduced it to £12. So they'd still got it marked as 15 but it actually tilled up at £12. So I think that's gone down recently. Wherever the PlayStation 2 version's gone down as well, I'm not, not sure, I've not checked. But for 12 quid, I was over the moon with that. So really happy to add that in, and I'm going to give that another go. Not played the Xbox version before. I'm sure it's pretty much the same as the PS2 version. Still, either way, a fab game. Dark Watch. So that's left me with £62 on my CEX voucher, which again is still a fair whack. I have been thinking about where that could go and um, I've not made my mind up yet, but and I'd, I may, I don't know, I'll, I'll have a think. No, I'll tell you. Um, so one of the things was uh, potentially they've got, again, in Bolton CEX, they've got a really nice, clean, uh, fully complete uh, boxed version of Lilac Wars on the N64 complete with the rumble pack currently goes for 40 pounds in there so i am tempted by that i haven't got lila wars it's one of the only star fox games I haven't got 
and there's two other. There's a GameCube game that I haven't got, Star Fox Assault. Um, and I think there is a Nintendo Wii U uh, Star Fox game as well, not Star Fox Zero. Um, I can't remember what it's called. Um, but, but yeah, I do love the Star Fox games, as you will see shortly, because I've picked up something else Star Fox related. Um, so I am tempted by that. And I've, the other thing I've always fancied is a Super Game Boy as well. Um, I used to have one back in the day, um, and I quite fancy maybe picking one of those up. I think they go for about £10, something like that. So, um, yeah, something, something for me to think about. Um, might leave it till the new year. Um, and we'll see how we go. So, those were the CEX uh, voucher pickups, and I have made some other pickups as well. Um, like I say, we had a couple of days off this week, mainly to go uh, Christmas shopping, um, which we did. Uh, we went into Bolton, mainly just to, to sell that lot. Um, but then we headed into Berry Town Centre, um, which is a really good town centre, actually. It's a really good high street. I mean, everybody says the high street's dying, but um, Berry must be booking the trend because the uh, the high street there was absolutely packed. It was a sort of Friday lunchtime, absolutely heathen. Um, there's some good sort of game shops that you can go into. The, not dedicated game shops, there's a CEX, um, but there's like cash generator and cash converters and, and a couple other places. So um, for game hunting, it's not a bad place to go. Um, so yeah, so we headed into Berry and uh, I made a few buys there. And I will show you a little bit of the footage I took while we were out and about in Berry. So here we are in Bolton CEX and the first glass cabinet of dreams for the day. Um, quite a decent selection in here but not loads. There is one which caught my eye and I did pick up. Um, but yeah there's some good games in here. Some big prices as you can see. Streets of Rage 3 there for 140. Um, some decent Mega Drive games there. Um, but nothing that really caught my eye there, just the one that I'd been uh, wanting to pick up for a while. So next up we moved into Berry. We stopped for a quick breakfast at Bob and Bert's. Nice breakfast muffin there and the usual cup of tea. Nice little place this, we like going in there. It's nice to sit in there and chill out and have something to eat. I headed into Game, had a quick look at their Black Friday deals. Plague Tale Requiem for $17.98, that's a bit of a bargain. Currently going for about $19.99 on Amazon's Black Friday, so $17.98 was a decent, a decent buy if you've not already bought it. Always worth having a quick rummage through these games and the, the sort of full price shelves and the three for twos, because sometimes you do spot some decent buys, not always obvious. I nearly picked this one up, Silence on PlayStation 4 for $2.99. I wish I had done now because I've seen some of the reviews and some of the footage and it looks really interesting but um, no, I, I didn't pick it up on the day. Nino Cooney, I'm starting to get into those games, picked up one recently. Didn't grab these though. Still rummaging around, seeing if I can find any games that I've not seen before at a decent price. There was one Tempe game in there at one point, I can't remember what it was but I did resist that. Nothing from game for me today. Decided not to pick up anything in here. Next up, went into Cash Generator. Quite hit and miss in here. Some of these games can be really wildly priced. Some odd, odd sort of pricing on some of them. Uh, but I did have a look at one or two. Spider Man. Yeah, again, $23.99. Probably about the going rate, maybe a little bit more. Castlevania 2, Lords of Shadow 2, 4 99 wasn't bad. Armour Core 5, this was quite expensive. There you go, 24 99 Again, I'm not 100% sure with those games what the sort of going rate for them was. Over in this corner, they have a few sort of older games. And there were one or two pickups in here which had was quite sort of tempted by. $14.99 on Judge Dread vs. Death on the GameCube. Sonic Battle 2 on the GameCube. Some of these were quite pricey though unfortunately so I decided against picking them up. It's Combat 6 for the Xbox 360 at $3.99 wasn't bad. You can just see there Secret Agent Clank on the PSP which I was very tempted by. Not much Nintendo DS wise. 
punch out on the Nintendo Wii, that's a good game. A little bit exp expensive in here. Sega and the, sorry, Sonic and the, is it the Magic of the Rings? I can't remember what that one's called, but again, it's not one I've got, decided not to pick it up. Mario Sunshine for 19.99. SSX on tour. You know, I like a snowboarding game. But yeah, GameCube. Nice to see some GameCube games in here as well. You don't see them out and about all that often. Obviously, you see them in CEX, but you don't see them around too much. God of War, Chains of Olympus, that's a great game on the PSP. Then into cash converters. I've done alright in this one in the past, um, but there wasn't loads in here. Wherever they're sort of starting to get a lot more people buying games and picking these sorts of things up on the build up to Christmas, I'm not sure. But there's one or two, and you can find some decent bargains in, in cash converters. Sometimes you can find some Mega Drive games in here as well, and I think they did have uh, two. I think there was a FIFA and Mega Games 1, but neither of them were priced up. But yeah, one or two games in there. Then into Berry CEX. This was outside, got a few decent games in the window. Turrican on, on the Mega Drive as well. That's not something you see around that often. For some reason they had a, quite a few copies of Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes on the GameCube in here as well. You'll see another copy in here. This is their Glass Cabinet of Dreams. Not a huge one. But a few SNES games in there, box SNES games as well. Some huge prices on some of these though. A couple of decent PlayStation 1 games as well. Dreamcast. £85 on Twilight Princess for GameCube. Another couple of copies of Metal Gear Twin Solid, Twin Snakes up there as well. Quite a few nice Mega Drive games. Another copy of Streets of Rage 3. Robocop vs Terminator for £15. That's one that's on my wish list, but it didn't have a manual. I'm also looking at 3DSs at the moment. I am tempted by yeah, possibly getting a 3DS because I've never had one. And I did notice when I was in here just how sort of cheap some of the games from the 3DS can be, so possibly something for next year. There's a decent selection of games in that in this uh, CEX actually. Not quite so much for PlayStation 2, um, but you do find the odd one that sort of catches your eye and you think that's not bad. But um, on this occasion, there wasn't anything particularly. And every now and then you spot a game out on the shelves and you think, I'm not sure that should be on the shelf. You think maybe that should be in the glass cabinet. This was um, another Armored Core game for £25. I thought that seemed quite pricey to be out on the on, on the shelves, but um, didn't get it. Star Ocean there as well. I think there was one game, yeah, Unlimited Saga for £12, but the, sadly the box was a little bit beaten up. Over to the Xbox 360 section. And the usual stuff, but it's usually the box stuff that catches my eye first. Modern Warfare there for £8. Nice steel book for um, Lion the Witch in the Wardrobe, Prince of Caspian. Didn't grab it though, it's a bit rusty. A Dead Rising one there as well. Earth Defense 4, that's a great game. Not quite as good as the PlayStation 2 version though. Another big box game there, Murdered Lost at Soul Suspect. That's quite a good game actually, £2.50 as well. But again, the box was a little bit dinged up. I've got it on PlayStation 3, so I decided not to pick that up this time. Don't have a huge amount of PlayStation 3 games in this CEX, sadly. Nice copy of Bad Company Battlefield, Gold Edition there. Again, Steelbook, but a bit dinged up, so I didn't pick that one up. Wasn't a huge amount of uh, PlayStation 3 games, sadly, in this in this one. Orange box for eight pounds. I think that's gone down a little bit recently on PlayStation 3. Some Ratchet and Clank games there as well. Sly Cooper. Sly Cooper is a series I've never really played. A few Wii U games. 
He had Bayonetta 2, which I hadn't got for the Wii U, and that's £6 at the moment, so I was tempted by that. But not loads there. Some nice GameCube games. Luigi's Mansion, 32. Bit of water damage on that one, though. Over to the 3DS section. I'd say there's some really decent buys. A Dead or Alive there for £4. It doesn't seem too, too unreasonable. I think Street Fighter 4 as well goes for, is it a 5? Yeah, £5. Pounds. So that's not bad either. So I'm tempted by a 3DS. I'm always on the hunt for Nintendo DS games at the moment as well. Quite enjoying collecting for that. But nothing, nothing really caught my eye. Did spot GTA Chinatown for £15 there. OCD kicking in, so I have to start tidying up in a minute. Couldn't leave it like that. <laughs> there we go, much better. Then one last thing that caught my eye in here, and I am trying to get the full set of the Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider Legend games, and I did spot the PC version, £2. I was tempted, but I thought, no, not today. So yep, that was us in Berry. Um I had a nice little afternoon there, got loads of Christmas shopping done, and I did manage to pick up a few games. So I will go through these first. So I'll get the biggest one out of the way just because it's um, it's out of the, it's, it's taken up a lot of room on the table, so I'll show you this one first. So this is something I saw in there's a toy store um across the UK called The Entertainer. And it was about two years ago, I think. Maybe maybe even three years. Um, they were selling these off for five pounds, um, and for whatever reason, I didn't pick it up, and I've always regretted it, um, because at that price, it seemed like a bit of a, a bit of a bargain, and it is <coughs> Nintendo Switch Starlink Battle for Atlas, and this is the Star Fox edition. So it comes with the uh, awesome R Wing model. There's also Fox McCloud in there. Um, I've not played the game. I, I think we do have it on PlayStation Four, um, but we've never we've never tried it yet. But this is the Switch version. It's got the uh, the Fox McCloud uh, figurine in there as well, so he's in the game. Um, I, to be honest, I'm not that bothered about the game. I was more interested in getting the actual Arwing model because I just think it looks so cool. Um, but yeah, for four ninety nine, uh, second hand box is a little bit beaten up but you wouldn't really notice particularly but everything inside is, is in perfect condition so yeah 4.99 just like i'd seen it two years ago for a fiver thought at that price yeah i'm gonna grab that finally really happy to get that like i say i'm a bit of a star fox fan i wish they'd make a star fox movie it would be amazing um but yeah 4.99 so that was from uh cash converters yeah cash converters these first few on uh, from there so yeah, go pick up that one. I'm going to put that on the floor because it's big. So the next couple I got from there were also, um, yeah, cash converters. So I picked up uh, PSP Resistance Retribution. I've got the other Resistance games. This was the only one I didn't have. Um, and that was $1.99. Currently that sells for Fiverr in CEX. So for $1.99, that was a nice little pickup. Good games are resistance games. Will they ever make a comeback? I'm not sure they will, but uh, yeah, a good couple of games are resistance games. Uh, and then another one that I picked up, this is Nintendo DS. And I've had a bit of a run of picking up uh, Grand Theft Auto games. So this is the next next one that was in, in line. And this was Chinatown Wars on the DS. And that was a little bit more pricey maybe, but 9 99 CEX are currently selling it for 15 so it is a bit cheaper than CEX prices, but nice and complete. Again, possibly needs another box. I've tried to clean it up a little bit, but might swap the box out. Yeah, GTA Chinatown Wars, good one. Uh, and then moving into cash. So that they were from Cash Converters. These next ones are from Cash Generator. Uh, there was one fail in there in that I found a copy of Secret Agent Clank on the PSP. Um, which apparently is getting a little bit more hard to find and a bit rarer now. Um, they had it for, I think it was three ninety nine. Um, it was like a platinum uh, version of it, so the silver silver box. Um, but yeah, at that price, I thought I've got to grab that. They couldn't find it behind the till. Typical. 
Um, so, uh, so I couldn't, I couldn't grab that. But um, if I had, if they had it, it would have been a, bit, a really good find that one. But unfortunately, they didn't. So what I did pick up in there, and you may have seen it in the footage that I took. So the first up was Xbox 360 Ace Combat Six. Quite like the Ace Combat games. Quite like any sort of aerial combat games. Actually, they always uh, they're always pretty good fun. I think I've got Ace Combat Salt Horizon. Got a special edition version of that. Uh, this was four ninety nine. No, sorry, it was three ninety nine. And currently, that sells for six pound in CEX. So again, that was why it grabbed my attention because I thought it's quite cheap. So Ace Combat Six. Um, again, Xbox three hundred and sixty Castlevania Lords of Shadow Two. Spoken about Castlevania in a few of my videos before. Uh, Lords of the Shadow One is a really, really good game. Lords of Shadow 2 is not quite as good, but at $4.99, I thought that seemed, again, that seemed quite sort of cheap. And at the moment, CEX is selling that for a tenner. So again, I've got that for pretty much half price. Really happy with that though. Good condition that as well. Castlevania. And here we go again. So yes, it's becoming a bit of a running joke. Every time I do a gaming grabs video, there is a snowboard game involved, I know. Um, and it, this was nearly there was nearly two of these. Um, this again was cash generators. It's SSX, and I can never say SSX. SSX on tour for the Nintendo GameCube. So yeah, really good to find a GameCube game in there. They did, they did actually have a few GameCube uh, games on the shelf in there. That was seven ninety nine. Currently goes for ten pound in CEX. That one. So again, a little bit of a saving on that. But yeah, it's another snowboarding game, and they did ha actually have the same game on the PSP as well. Um, that was one ninety nine, I think, or was it a little bit more? It may have been two ninety nine. I can't remember. Um, but I thought, you know, buying two versions of the same game. I know it's a handheld version, maybe a little bit excessive, so I left that PSP version behind and, and picked up the GameCube version, just because I don't get to pick up Cube games that often. Um, I haven't got it, so. But let's grab that. So yeah, SSX on tour, Nintendo GameCube. Then next up, um, so these weren't picked up uh, on the Berry trip. These were, um, I think they were actually last Sunday. So I know I put a video out last Sunday, but um, I recorded it on the Saturday, and then I picked these up during the day on on that Sunday, and. Um, it was a, I think there was one CEX purchase and a couple of charity shop purchases. I found something in charity shop for a change. Um, I can't remember which ones I picked up. I know, um, I honestly can't remember which one. I think, I'll show you the one I think I got from CEX first. Um, and it was Space Race on the PlayStation 2. This is a Looney Tunes racer, sci-fi racer. I just saw the cover. I don't remember seeing it around that often. I know there was a Dreamcast version of this. Um, didn't realize there was a PlayStation 2 version as well. Um, just saw it. It, it, it. it was reached out to me. I was like, oh, that looks all right, actually. Uh, I think it was £2.50 from CEX, this. Um, so I had to grab that. Um, I've had a quick go of it, actually, and it's okay. It's not bad. It's quite good fun. Very sort of Mario Kart. It's almost like a Mario Kart F-Zero with Looney Tunes crossover. So yeah, well, yeah, it's not a bad, bad little game that one. Space Race that was two pound fifty. Now I think these were in general uh, one pound and one pound fifty, but I, I honestly can't remember, which is bad of me because I, I you know tried to keep track. But uh, the Blob Two on the Nintendo Wii that was a charity shop find. I think that was a pound. It's a two pound game CEX at the moment. Really nice condition though. Really clean. The Blob Two. I know that's a decent little sort. Of platform puzzly type game uh next up i got this for a pound it's kengo masters of bushido samurai game I do like a samurai game um, yeah that's one of the early playstation 2 games black or very dark navy blue box uh, so yeah kengo it goes for one pound 50 in cx at the moment another early ps2 game another one pound pickup uh, Thunderhawk, Operation Phoenix, quite like helicopter games as well. Um, 
So yeah, again, very early sort of PlayStation 2 game. And then um, Gauntlet Seven Sorrows, PlayStation 2 again. If I pick this up for £1.50, and it goes for £3 in CX at the moment. I've never actually played a Gauntlet game before. Um, strangely. I, yeah, the original, the arcade game, I've never played Gauntlet, so see what that looks like anyway. It's quite a cool looking front cover. Um, I can slash type game, I'm assuming. Don't know a huge amount about it, but at that price, I thought I'll grab that. And then last up, this was £3, uh, this one. This was Soul Calibur 3. I've got quite a few of the Soul Calibur games, but I haven't got three. So saw it and knew that it was going for a bit more than that. And CEX sell it for £6. So at £3 again, so half price on that. But yeah, Soul Calibur 3. You know what you're getting with Soul Calibur games. Sort of Semi 3D beat em up, hack and slashy fun. But yeah, Soul Cal Calibur 3. Can't get my words out today. So yeah, those were the, the pickups from the week, really. And um, I thought I was done. And then. Um, I seem to have had a bit of you know, reasonable, sort of good fortune this week with some of the games. Um, the sun was shining. Well, I say the sun was shining, but the weather was all right uh, this morning. And I thought, well, let's head to the car boots. Let's give the car boot another go. I know we've only got three car boot sales left before Christmas this year. So I thought, uh, while the weather's all right and I was up, um, I'll head to, head to the car boot sale. So took a little bit of footage. Let's have a look at that and I'll show you what I picked up. Hi everyone. So yeah, Sunday morning. I'm still half asleep. Um, but do you know what? I've had a little bit of luck with finding some games this week. So plus my uh, football team, Bottom Wanderers, they won 7 0 yesterday. We're top of the league. Get in, boys. Come on. So I thought, you know what? Your luck's in. Let's give the car boot another one last go. There's only three left here. Three uh, before Christmas. So this is probably the last car boot that I'll do. Uh, but let's let's go and see see if we can find anything today I'm feeling lucky feeling lucky I just have this feeling this morning so let's go and have a look and see what they've got it's still dark out there so hopefully I'll be able to see what they've got but yeah let's go and see what we can find So that was the car boot sale this morning. It was, um, again, a little bit disappointing. There wasn't a huge amount there. There was the usual um, I was, I think two two people who normally, no, maybe three, sorry, 
three people who normally are selling games they were there as always um it, yeah there wasn't a huge amount there i got that reasonably early as well uh, it's still quite dark out there but it was very busy very um I mean, the first person i saw walk past me had a bag full of games so they'd been there the you know, very first thing they had two guitar hero guitars stuck out of a bag so they'd obviously gone along and grabbed everything they could quite early doors but that's the nature of the game so um, i still managed to pick up a couple of things i think that's probably going to be it for me for car boot sales this year it was so cold i'm still falling out got me a cup of tea to try and warm me up um but yeah i think i'll probably give the car boots a miss uh going forward for the rest of the year now he says um but yeah i did pick up a couple of things so i'll show you those um you may have seen it in the footage certainly this one anyway um it is srs street racing syndicate and um, paid five pound for that it says they're rare mint i'm not sure what your class mint has but it's in really really good condition to be fair um it's not it's not rare i wouldn't say but i haven't seen it around that often um cex don't have a huge amount of copies of this at the moment they sell it for six pounds so five pounds is just under the going rate um i do like a good street racing kind of arcade racing type game so um yeah i thought well this is going to be the last car boot sale that i come to i need to pick something up so i spotted that and thought let's give that a go but yeah it looks all right and um, so happy with that one and then what will probably be the final pickup from a car boot sale this year wasn't expecting to find this there uh, it's not in the greatest condition i think i can work around it i think i can maybe sort it out certainly get the stickers off it um and it's you know you don't see too many of these or i certainly don't in our car boot sales don't see too many of these type of games around um, and it is international superstar soccer 64 nintendo 64 and i paid a fiver for that there's no manual which is a shame but you know for a fiver um, but yeah the box if you have the box like that it looks yeah, it looks all right um but yeah it's it's quite dinged up um, but workable and um you know i think if i put that in one of the uh, box protectors that will that will look fairly reasonable i can probably sort that sticker out and get most of that off so yeah to get a box n64 game for a fiver and what a game as well by the way um you know, just an absolute classic sort of four player uh, footy game for the n64 um, and that's proper sort of nostalgia stuff there and playing that with your mates uh, four controllers all around the tv um yeah great game cartridge was in really good condition too actually quite happy with that nice and clean and um, so i'll be whacking that into the n64 probably later on to give a quick go but yeah and um, like i say the box is a bit dinged up for it but for a, a fiver i can't complain too much like i say i might be able to sort it out a little bit um, I've heard people sort of ironing boxes and that sort of thing and to flatten them out. Um, but yeah, once I get that into a box protector, that'll look quite cool, I think. But yeah, that's probably my last car boot sale purchase for the year. And that is all my pickups for this week. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, something a little bit different with the uh, shopping sort of footage there as well. Um, but yeah, I'm quite happy with that stack of games. Um, once, as always, as I always say, I'm going to have to now try and find room to fit this into, into the collection. Um, but they will get in there, I'm sure. So, once again, thank you for watching. I uh, really appreciate uh, all the likes and comments. And if you're not already subscribing, if you could drop a subscription onto the channel, that would be amazing. And, uh, yeah, have a great week, and I will see you on the next one. Thanks, guys. Oh,